arm gene and this short sequence is to help build strength in the upper body, the shoulders and the arms in particular, in preparation for the headstand. If you practice this every day, you'll find the headstands much more accessible for you and you'll feel a little bit more confident in your practice of it. So let's begin in child's pose. And gently open the hands, spread the fingers, rest the elbows and let's place one hand on top of the other and bring the hands quite close to the head and then rest the forehead to the ground relaxing the frontal lobe of the brain and soften the shoulders in your mind's eye just run your awareness from the crown of the head all the way down through your spine traveling right down into the tailbone so this is our central line of energy that flows through the body along the spinal column. And it's through the stacking of the spine that we're able to move into the headstand. But we need the strength to support that. So that's what we're going to focus on now. So let's bring the hands back by the sides of the knees. Gently press down through the palms and roll up through the spine. Let the pelvis anchor right down and feel that soft alignment through your spine. And then we'll take the arms out to the sides, breathing in. Interlink the fingers once the arms reach up. And then feel the length through the side body. Feel the side body pouring into that central line of the spine. Great. And then bringing the hands, still keeping the fingers interlinked, softly cradle around the back of the head, roll the elbows in, that's it, and then descend the shoulders. And take a few moments as you descend the shoulders to draw the elbows and the forearms upwards as if you were gently rooting into the sky. Keep the chin level, keep the chin level and the back of the neck long. And take another few moments to breathe here. Let the front ribs talk to the back ribs. Keep the shoulders soft and that's it, great. Elbows aligning with the shoulders, lovely. And just keep the neck relaxed, soften the throat and the chin. And then we'll re-reach the arms up, breathe in, reach the arms up. And let's take the right hand down to the ground, exhale, press down through that right palm, bend the elbow into this hip, that's it. And take a nice big stretch, you can reach the arm all the way over. And then as you breathe in, come back up again, interlink the fingers and extend long, lovely. And then taking your left hand to the ground, again, bend that left elbow, gently press into that palm, and then reach all the way over, lovely. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. Exhale, interlink the fingers behind the back and roll the shoulders back. Now lift the chest and softly fold all the way over. Lie the ribs down, gently let the forehead come to the ground. Now we're gonna pick the hips up and as you lift the hips, gently roll onto the top of the head. And then as you lift the shoulders away from the ears, reach the knuckles upwards. And feel the energy lifting from the shoulders into the arms, from the arms into the hands, and the hands right up into the sky. Take a few breaths here and gently lift the abdomen. Keep the breath nice and steady, that's it. So keep picking the shoulders right up, right up, that's it, lovely. One more breath there. And we'll take the hands to the ground, press through the palms, gently breathe in and lift the heart center. And then breathe out round the back. Lovely. Let's take that again. Breathe in, lift the heart center. And breathe out round the back, gently engaging your core. And just one more time, breathe in. And then gently breathe out. We'll take the same thing, but come down onto the elbows now. Place the elbows where the hands were. Interlink the fingers, and so the same thing. Breathe in, lift the chest. And then breathe out, round the back. <sighs> Root through the elbows and the outer forearms. And then inhale, arcing it through, great. And then exhale, rounding the back. <sighs> oh, one last time, inhale. 
This time, keep the arc through the spine, tuck your toes under. And we're going to anchor through those forearms as you lift the tailbone up. Now, don't come too high. Just walk the feet in a little bit. Keep bending your knees. That's it, bend your knees. And then draw the head through the arms. And take a downward dog on the elbows. Lovely. Keep a little bend in the knees. And now let's re-step the feet back. And then with the in-breath, draw your shoulders forwards. Bring the chin right over the thumbs. Great. And then exhale, pull it all the way back. Lovely. And then inhale, lift the abdomen, gently coming forwards. Great. And then exhale, draw it back. Just one more time. Inhale, draw it forwards. Now, I'm going to release the right hand and take the left hand flat. Press the right hand onto the ground and softly turn. Feel this shoulder coming down, so rather than it pulling to the ear, draw the shoulder down and let the ear flow over your left hand. Take a moment and if you're feeling strong too, you could raise that arm upwards. Feel that midline strong. And then exhale, bring the hand down. Turn around to the plank, take an in-breath here. And then exhale back to that downward dog. I'm going to take that onto the second side. So as you breathe in, bring your weight forwards. Take a moment. Release the hands, right palm flat. Take the left hand to the ground. Press into both hands. Tip the body to the side. Lovely. Bring that shoulder blade right down the back. Lovely. And press into the right hand to raise the left arm. Great. Take a moment more there. And then gently exhale, lower the hand. Turn around to your elbow plank. And then softly as you breathe out, all the way back to that downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here. And then we'll lower down onto the knees. And rest gently into child's pose. Take three breaths here. And breathe deeply into the back. Imagine you had nostrils at the back of your waist. And breathe directly into these back nostrils. One last breath. And walk the hands back to the knees. Slowly inhale. Come all the way up. And just to open the shoulders, we'll take the right arm forwards, inhale, circle the right hand all the way behind and fold that right arm up in between the shoulder blades. Take a really good fold, that's it. And then we'll raise the left arm, inhale. And before you lower the hand, just take the elbow back a little bit more, take the whole arm back and then bend that elbow and catch hold of the fingers. Now once you've caught hold of the fingers, root through the pelvis and draw your front ribs gently in as if the front ribs talk to the back ribs. Great. Keep lifting that top elbow up. Find that steadiness of the breath. Great. One last breath here. And then gently release the arms down, take a little roll of the shoulders and we'll go to the second side. So left arm lifts, inhale, reach the left arm up, that's it, circle it all the way around, so turn the palm down, so reach all the way down, that's it. And then folding the elbow, bring the hand right up in between the shoulder blades, exactly, great. And then raise the right arm up, inhale. So before you take it back, just relift the arm up, David, and let the arm go back as if you were taking it behind your ear, yes. And then fold the elbow to catch hold. So that really opens up the armpit and the whole shoulder area, brilliant. Roll the top elbow in and up, the bottom elbow down, and then the front ribs softly commune with the back ribs, great. And have a sense again of that midline, the spine, Crown rising and tailbone rooting. Right. One last breath there. And then gently release the hands. Again, we're interlink the fingers behind the back. Breathe in. And then that soft fold over, breathe out. Keep it moving now. So as the forehead touches down, lift the hips, lift the abdomen, lift the shoulders. One more breath there. We'll release the hands to the ground. Press through the palms, inhale. 
walk forwards onto the elbows just one more time to strengthen through those upper arms and shoulders we'll tuck the toes under coming into your elbow dog walk the feet back just a wee bit giving a little bit more space between the elbows and the feet and then softly inhale look forwards bring the hips down and now as you exhale can you raise your right leg up push back and up and let that leg lift and then slowly as you breathe in come forwards lower the right leg down and then root down lift the leg up exhale let's take that a few more times inhale come forwards root down breathe out inhale come forwards great root down and come back inhale come forwards hover here for a moment gently bend the knees exhale and draw all the way back gently rest here so it's great to to strengthen the the upper arms and the shoulders and also it trains us to find the alignment of the hands that deep interlink of the fingers with the elbows in alignment with the shoulders which is the foundation for our traditional headstand so let's then re-rest so just another breath or two here and holding the shoulders and relaxing the neck and then gently walk the hands in slowly roll up through the spine as you inhale and we'll bring the hands to namaste to close our headstand preparation there